Hi everybody, it's Tyler here at the University of North Dakota event here at Mall of America, and I'm here with Team 9123X, Shanghai Riguan, who has been doing absolutely phenomenal. You guys have been amazing on the field. Harrison's here to talk more about uh, their robot, but you gotta take a look at some of the awesome stuff they have. They align so quick onto the goals and just seeing how quickly they're able to get their cycle times and their scoring has been truly impressive uh, so far as that. But we're gonna get a full breakdown of this robot, a lot of great attributes we're we'll talking about. So let's learn more about them coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grill Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Harrison, let's start to break down this robot a bit more, starting out with your drivetrain. Tell me more about it. Oh yeah, for sure. So start on drive. As you can see, we use like six motors on the drive and also eight Omni wheels decided on the like 450 RPM because at the early season, we decided to use also 450 RPM. But the point is we changed the uh, Omni wheels to 2.75 Omni wheels. But when we like do the scrimmage and also do the task, it's kind of slow and we cannot like not fast enough. So I decided to change also uh, to the like 3.25 Omni wheels on this. And also on these game stress, I decided to like, uh, as you can see, like intake, we can all like saving so much balls on this on this track. So our game strategy is to like cycling re really, quiet, really quick and like to do uh, for like a couple of time to do the shots. That's just like why I'm mean, like choosing like the 450 RPM on this drive. And also, as you can see, I have like two polycarbonate over here that's help us to slide into the parking zone. That's uh, like, I consider to like the over under season, we also use this polycarbonate to slide over like the long barrier. Also on this season, I decided to use like uh, over here, it helps to slide So it kind of ramps essentially that oh, kind of just yes. go up on it? Yes. Yeah. Also this season, we have the like the polycarbonate limited uh, that's limited the numbers of the like polycarbonate. So on um, this polycarbonate, I decided to like add some this uh, add some like the actual actual it's a hole for like connect, connecting with this 36 gear 62 gears. Yeah, that's for like. As we start to move on your robot, uh, obviously you've been performing very, very well. What are some other key things on your robot that is really attributed to your success so far? Yeah, I already say like the my main strategy of this game is like cycling really quick and not saving so much balls. So I move on to the intake. At the first of the season, we decided to use like all the rubber bands roller to like over here, over here, over here. Uh, we have like four rubber bands roller for like in taking the ball and saving the ball. But the point is when the like ball go up and the rubber bands go, the roller gonna stuck when I like saving so much balls. And even though I don't want to saving like like 12 and maybe maybe more balls, but I still want to take for like nine or like seven balls. But the rubber band roller issue is cannot, I cannot solve. When I like saving for like four balls, they're gonna stuck. So I changed to like this all flaps. As you can see, we have like three flap, uh, three flap. And, convenient over here and the first stage we also already test for like rubber bands roller but the point is the rubber bands is really easily to like hook on their robot and yeah, I cannot move I can look I can look, like stuck on their robot so that's the point we use like the flex wheel on this and on the intake track as you can see we have like half rubber bands and half zip type roller uh, for this, on the end, uh, and the start of the like the intake track, we use like the rubber band roller to give force on the for like up up force for the balls, and we can like intake much easily to like more more smoothly. And on the convenient parts, like the tracking parts, we like use to the like the Z type to using all like the track to like decrease the friction of this part, so like uh, more easily to like like let the ball go up and like easily to like holding the balls. Looking at the changes you made coming here at Mall of America, are there any potential future changes or anything you learned from playing in the matches so far? You're like, hey, I might want to make a change for the future? Uh, right now, is, I think 
this part, like the track part and also the shoot parts is, is good enough for like the early season. So uh, maybe I will not like change the intake parts and the shoot parts. Yep. I really like the, the, the flaps thing. We've talked to a couple other teams who have really said the flaps have been much better than uh, utilizing uh, zip ties or rubber bands or anything like that. Would, would you agree that the flaps have been successful for your team? Yes. So, awesome. Uh, let's keep moving on to your robot, talking about some other areas you want to cover. Uh, yeah, move to like the back of the, my robot. As you can see, I have like this liner for like fit into the angle of the high goal, uh, the long goal to make sure we can like on the center of the like the best suit position for our robot. Here's also we see like cat to do this like the polycarbonate. Oh, as you can see like here like this. We're using like the same angle on this to make sure we can like uh, linear like really 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 good for like center of the robot. Yep. When you were looking at uh, game strategy and designing this robot here. Why was it so important for your team to have like such a great aligner mech and move up? Because we've seen a lot of teams where like they try to go and it takes them a long time, but your team is doing it so quick and so successfully. So like, just talk to me a little bit more about like how you came up with this concept and why it was so important for your team. Yeah, so like, first of all, I like try to uh, practice more to like liner on the long, the long goal. And another point is the most point, uh, the most of the team don't have the liner up over here. So when they get like the pinning, so, so like pinning or tipping on um, the matches, and the robot will get not on the center of the goal. So when, I, uh, but I have it. So when I like drive, still track backwards, even though the robot is kind of not in the fast position of we shoot, we can still shoot the balls into the goal. So that's why we like really like this liner. So yes. And on, on your hood here, can you talk to us a little about this polycarb piece and like the what it does for your robot? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, this one uh, like uh, we use this for like doing two things. So one of it is like protect the ball, not flying, go upwards because you know the rubber roller have like so much force to like go upwards, uh, and this hood is help the lock move like go through over the long goal. And another one is this actually a passive discord Mac. As you can see, that's out of the drivetrain, like this vertical size is out of the drivetrain. So when I get into, like this part is into, uh, fit into the long goal. And this one is like, well, contact with the uh, ball. Because, you know, like when the ball is in the long goal, the, they will like kind of stick together. So when I like pumping them, they will like uh, slide, go like slide, slide together out of the long goal. So when I like pumping them, they will like this score when I have like my own balls over over like over front and when I like pumping them I'm gonna just like over over another way and the ball will slide out of the long hole. Looking at the Mall of America event, we've seen a lot of great competition play here. Has any of the competition play you've seen here changed how you played the game so far? Yeah, I know. Like the most of the robot in the modern American they wanted to like saving more balls on the track, uh, even though the plastic uh, basket. And, but the point is, I don't think this is more important to like saving more balls. I want to like cycling really fast and to like drive really smooth to like the liner on the long goal, on the upper goal. And so I think this is more important to like win the game. And also the point is you need a discord for like upper goal or in the long goal. Yeah, I totally agree. I think fast cycle times and be able to just go between the two and acquire quickly, I think that's good in what's win matches versus just camping at a, at a goal or something yeah. like that, definitely too. Is there anything else from your CAD that you wanted to show off at all on your robot or talk about like grading your robot through on shape at all? So like when I went, uh, when I like started to design this robot, I used like CAD to like make sure to like check the angle of this C channel, like the track over here. So it's really easily when I when I when you guys using CAD to like design the robot because you can really easy to get the like the point and also the angle of the C channel and all, everything uh, you can like easily to find the hole over here. As you can see, I use CAD to like find this hole and also get more easily to get like every gap between the C channel and C channel. And you know, you need to like using which spacer inside. That's that's what uh, that's I, why I'm using like this CAD over here. Anything else in your robot you want to cover or anything, uh, maybe feature changes you have in mind? Oh yeah, sure. And over here, as you can see, I have like 
uh, a triangle over here. I used to like try and hold on the standoff. Uh, like the most of the team, like the Hester ax axles over here, uh, not over here, like drawing a hole on the Hester axles, but I decided to use the standoff. It's just really light, but it's uh, still strong for this. Yeah, because like for early of this, uh, this robot, when I designed this robot, this part, like the C channel for the lower intake for the first stage and the flap and the upper for the shooter is not connecting together. It's kind of like willing on the on this robot. And I wanted to fix this point. And I think Hyzer uh, Chef is so, so heavy for this robot because my drive is 450 RPM. If this heavy, this not like fast enough. So I decided to use like the drawing hole on the standoff and connecting with this. And yeah, that's it. This is a phenomenal machine. Obviously, we've seen some great competition play out of you. Uh, as we're filming this, we're going to be going to the playoffs very soon to wish you best of luck here at the um, All America event yep. and hopefully return to the X Worlds once again because your team has been there a few times. So we wish you best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks a lot for taking the time, Harrison. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.